It's been 10 years since my last confession. That means it's been 10 years since I've been paid to fuck. Lucky for you, I'm single now and I need a job, which means more confessions for you. Let's start with rule number one. Every door requires a different fantasy. So until you know what that is, be a blank canvas. Can I help you? Actually, I'm here to help you. Um, I was just expecting someone a little more. Dressed like a cop? Yeah. We don't do that anymore. What's your name? Since confessions are supposed to be anonymous. Call me X. Come on in, X. This bachelor party, sorry, bachelor's party, is a regular fairy tale. Lots of fairy, lots of tale. I don't like group scenes. Especially when the other boys for hire looked like they should have paper routes instead of Johns. Oh, who said romance is dead? You're cute. I'll give you a discount. You're cute too. But I'd still charge you full price. Hey, how's it going? Not great. But the night is still young, so plenty of time for it to get worse. The bachelor party we threw my brother had ladies shooting wiffle balls, you know, out. This one's more in my alley. Am I more up your alley? You? Sure. I love daddies. Oh, daddy. My new favorite word. And from a guy who's old enough to be my... Okay, my brother. You want to go have his own stripper? I hear they're all hustlers. You heard right. Buenas noches, caballeros. Let's get this bachelor party started. You're late. Ugh, I had this date that could not finish. And well, who do you call us? You look pissy and unattractive. Walk with me. Rule number two, don't be late. Time is money. This kid makes me feel like the oldest person in the oldest profession. But maybe I can teach him a thing or two. Like rule number three. Keep your work life and your home life completely, utterly, absolutely separated. X. You're very early. Shit, sorry, I forgot. Can you unforget and leave? Can I just go to my room? I'm sorry, this is uh, really awkward. I think I should go. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. No, you really shouldn't. Oh, I get it. Can't go until you come. I'll be back when I'm supposed to. Midnight. After seven years together, Andrew and I didn't get the itch, but we stopped scratching each other. Gotta change that. After 10 years, we just gave up. Well, I did. I called it off because I knew he wasn't happy. And it's not like I was. But I don't think happy is a word that will ever describe me. So, I came back to the only job I know. I thought I'd be received like a Disney movie that's been in the vault for years and is finally available to stream. But I'm just another guy willing to have sex for money in LA, the capital of guys willing to have sex for money. You cannot come to someone's bachelor party to go-go looking like someone's cool mom. I can do this myself. I've been undressing since you were still in the placenta. I met Chase at a very kinky cattle call at a house in the hills. It was my first job in LA. The geezer on the Martha Stewart bedspread pays five dudes to try on and take off clothes. He dismisses us one by one until he's down to the last dude who gets to stay and be licked all over while he masturbates for a ton of cash. It's American Idol with dicks. I made it to the final round, but Chase beat me out. I'm not a lap dance kind of guy. 
I'm a hustler. I don't do the hustle. I don't even know what that. It's a dance. I'm hearing. I'm not a good dancer. I just don't like wasting my time. We're gonna end up spending our entire night giving lap dances to a bunch of drunks. We'll give us a dollar here and a dollar you nowhere. You have to break out of this old school hooker mode and get with the times. If you do some dry humping now, you'll end up doing some wet humping later. And not just for dollar bills. These guys are drunk, horny, and rich. Okay, maybe I'm not teaching Chase anything at all. Maybe he's teaching me. Maybe I'm not even good at this anymore. Good night. Tell me you didn't come home early on purpose, stalker. No, my timing's just off. My timing's fine. Your timing is off. This is not going to work if you don't respect the boundaries. Boundaries is just a pleasant word for saying hang-ups. You are such a selfish prick. Most pricks are pretty selfish. You act like it was a mutual decision to split up, but it was your call. At least give me enough space to be over you. I haven't mellowed with age. I've just aged with age. Two songs. It's 40 bucks. You told me to tell you when it was two songs. Yes, yes, Daddy, too. That should cost you an extra 20 bucks. But I'll let it slide this time. It didn't feel sanitary eating cake while gay married guys were getting lap dances all around me, but I was fucking starving. Chase made me skip lunch so I'd have abs. He showed me how to spray tan fake ones on, so why did I need real ones? Checking out my ass? No, it's literally everywhere I look. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. No wonder you're making so much money. You could literally lap dance a guy standing up with that thing. I'm still hearing what you're saying. Seriously, you must be the ass guy of LA. I'll admit, I'm famous for my ass. <laughs> I got a place to sleep, food, and not the worst car in the world because of my ass. And because I have all those things, I even got a hot girlfriend, so it even brought me that. Wow, so your gay ass brought you a straight girlfriend? Does she like it as much as guys do? I'll tell you a story. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> that is a great story. I asked her one time, you know, do you like my ass? And she got all quiet and she's like, she's like, I don't know. And I go, what's wrong with it? She doesn't know that guys pay me to do stuff with it. But she's all like, I don't know if I like being with a guy that has a better ass than me. That's, that's touching. X. Hey, you're needed in the bedroom. Say goodbye, puppy. Goodbye, puppy. Sorry I called you a selfish prick. I'm sorry for being such a perfect example of one. I'm serious, X. I can't handle this, this living situation. If you're gonna ignore the schedule, I need space. Our house payment is lower than any rental situation these days, so living together makes sense financially. Look, I'm sorry, I told you I forgot the time. You never forget the time. You're the most obsessive, compulsively punctual person I know. Time is money, remember? It won't happen again. My night was especially hard. <sighs> it's like I'm living with a human pun. You don't even do it on purpose anymore. No, seriously, my night was really annoying. I just want to eat my cereal in, in peace. Okay. But just so you know, your cereal wasn't free. 
Just because you wouldn't be caught dead in that Gelson's doesn't mean you don't have to chip in around here. How much do I owe you? I don't even want to know. You don't want to know, but you already do. <laughs> Mr. Hard as it is to believe, it's been an hour already. So? We can keep going if you like, but there's two of us, so it's costing double on top of the appearance fees. Ooh. Yeah, uh, maybe I should go see my guests. Isn't that guy you're marrying still out there? Uh, he can take care of them. I saw him out in the den. He looked pretty busy. Oh, um. You know what, um, X, why don't you, um, go out there and, and entertain the party for like another half hour tops? Really? <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I'm not saying like he's cuter or anything. I mean, it's just that like you've been giving me this very sex negative vibe and, and, I feel very judged, and I want to, like, have this freedom, so... You know what? It's, it's totally fine. I'll let Chase close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's also, things are a little tight right now with the wedding and the honeymoon in Bali and the currency exchange. It's just like a lot. It's, it's no problem. Thanks. I'll, uh, pay you guys later. <laughs> and now, mijo! Come on! Oh, okay. <laughs> The only thing these daddies and boys have in common are square pegs, round holes, and the determination to make them fit. It's like with me and Chase. Just the fact that he was born with the name Chase with a Y. Nobody named their kid that before 2005. Sebastian was right. I am judging. Hey, stranger. I'm not doing any more dances. Oh, I wasn't. That's not. It's OK. No, I'm sorry. I don't know why, I just wanted you to know I'm not normally the kind of guy who gets lap dances. I am married, and while all of this is very fun, it's just not my thing. But if it were my thing, I would spend a lot more 20s on you. So I'm your thing, huh? Well, I've never really been into twinks. Just daddies like me? I didn't mean that. You're not a daddy, you're just, you're just an adult. Ah, so you're not into the kids? No, they're gorgeous. It's not an either or thing. It's just if I was gonna pick an ideal for myself, he would have some chest hair. So how long have you been married? Oh, uh, we've been quote unquote married for about 13 years. And uh, then we were in that first batch of Prop 8 couples that got real married right away. If you guys were together for so long, why do you feel the need to get real married? It meant a lot to us. We, uh, we wouldn't have done it if it didn't. Are you married? I mean, to a guy or, or a girl? I know some sex workers are, are really straight. I'm gay, and I'm not married. Although, I was with someone for longer than some couples are married, but it didn't work out. What happened? I think our timing was just off. Look, why don't you take my number? Because even though you said you're not into all this, we had a good time, right? And I think we could have an even better time if it was just one-on-one. -on -one. And lucky for you, I'm not getting any younger. I won't tell your husband. Actually, I already got your information from, from that other dancer. Chase, I think, is his name. This is the exact moment I realized I had a pimp. Chase was helping me just so he could make money off me. This kid was running my life.